Hey everybody, anyone is here, and for those who haven't watched uh, the last episode, well I don't know if that's really considered an episode, intro, episode zero, whatever you want to call it, um, I am here on the Random Acts of Crafting server, the Rack server as Benchy likes to call it, and this will be uh, my new Let's Play that I'll be doing. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I never really expected myself to do a Let's Play, uh, but I thought it might be fun. I had the idea of um, starting a server with a few other people who were going to be recording. I put the word out on YouTube, and I got some, uh, actually I got a lot of responses, but I got some really, really good responses. Um, a few of them are people that you might have seen on my channel before, you might have heard of um, playing in the Race for World community. I have uh, Parker VCP is on this server. Um, he was actually adventuring with me. As you can see, I still I have some stuff in my inventory already. He was caving with me back over there, and I left him and went on my own way. But um, there's Parker. There's also uh, DJ Blade Runner. Uh, for anyone who's not familiar with him, he is uh, part of the Race for World community. He's on uh, Team Bulletproof, which is actually a pretty good team. They usually do pretty well. Um, I have Benchy which uh, is a guy I never met before. I met him, he posted a video about wanting to uh, join a Let's Play server. Me and Parker were discussing about starting a Let's Play server, so it seemed like a match made in heaven, actually. He, um, he does a Godcraft server, which I've never actually played before, but it looks pretty fun, and he has a pretty cool Let's Play there, so he's gonna be starting one from here. Um, there's Eternal Beta, which is uh, actually a pretty funny story. Um, Benchy met Eternal Beta because Benchy made a post about wanting to find a server and uh, Eternal Beta had a server going with him and a friend of his. So Benchy was thinking about joining that server but decided to join this server. Uh, then Eternal Beta messaged me saying that they were interested in joining the server too and would we be interested in having them on board and of course I said yes, he seemed like a cool guy, I watched a couple of his videos that were definitely interesting so I uh, definitely wanted them in. Um, we also have Bernie, a.k.a. Uh, Big Bubbick. Um, his his in-game name is Big Bubbick, but uh, we know him as Bernie. So um, there's a couple other people who are going to be on the server that um, hasn't actually logged in yet, hasn't started playing or recording. Um, so as they start coming in and um, joining and making their Let's Plays, I will definitely update you guys on that and give you their information. If you look down in the bottom of the description, I will have links to all the different people who are playing on the server. Uh, their YouTube, so you can catch all their uh, videos. Um, a little bit about the server. This is a whitelisted server um, that we are playing. This is only for people who are gonna be uh, recording from. Uh, this is not open to the public. At the moment, we are not taking any um, applications. Uh, we're not exactly sure how we're gonna add people in the future. We're playing around with the idea of maybe once a month um, allowing people to be recommended by other members. So if you don't know somebody, uh, if somebody doesn't recommend you from the server, uh, chances are you won't be able to get in. And we're thinking about putting a cap. Right now we're playing around with the idea of a cap of 20 people total. But um, we'll, we'll see how that plays. Like I've said in my past videos, I don't like making an arbitrary cap about how many people could play because then you wind up um, limiting it and kind of missing other good people. So that's pretty much the 411 about the server and about the people on the server. Um, so what I plan on doing is I've never been a real creative builder type in Minecraft. Uh, my favorite thing to do in Minecraft is to play uh, CTM maps. Um, as you can see in a bunch of my play, uh, playthroughs, as well as uh, adventure maps almost as much. Um, and then survival adventure maps like um, Kingdom of the Sky 2, which me and Parker are still playing. Um, and I played number one in the past that I didn't record. So doing a let's play on a vanilla server with nothing but me to and my imagination is going to be a little different for me. Um, I've never, again, never been really that creative a person. But I have a few ideas of what I want to build. Um, I don't have a specific design or anything like that in mind. My plan is I will just be uh, venturing out for maybe an episode or two, trying to find a cool area, maybe find some of the new 1.3 content, um, a jungle uh, temple, a uh, jungle dungeon, whatever they're called, maybe head out to a, um, a uh, desert and finding one of the desert temples as well as a sandstone village. Um, those are new additions. You could get some really cool stuff. So I hope to find that pretty soon. I don't think I'm going to make my home in any of those, but I want to get the resources. 
Um, as you can see, I did a, a bunch of caving already. I got full dime, uh, iron armor, got about seven diamonds, five emeralds. I was actually doing caving in those extreme hills before, and even though emeralds are supposed to be rare, I guess it's only rare because they only come in singles, uh, blocks of one um, no multiple block, uh, strips or whatever. So, uh, but I got five of those, a bunch of iron, and I made a bunch of iron tools, etc., etc. So, the sun is going down, so I am gonna sleep. I am the only person on the server right now. I'm gonna sleep when the sun goes down, make the sun go back up, and we'll start adventuring through this jungle and seeing if we could find a, uh, jungle temple. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we are back, so I'm gonna pack up this stuff. No point of having to remake any of this. Let's pick up the rest of that iron. Ooh, did you see that? I love 1.3. You get uh, experience everywhere. You get experience from smelting, from mining, um, obviously from killing, so that's a that's a needed bonus. And for all those who don't know, the um, level cap has been moved to 30 levels. So it's a lot easier to get. As you can see, I'm already at level 23, and I haven't even started any type of grinding. That was just from me uh, just adventuring, caving. So uh, let's get this stuff. Oh, use that. I will not grab my bed, and I'm going to keep this lit just in case I die. I want a way to get... Um, I want to. I don't want to start all the way in spawn. I want to... I thought I had, oh, do I have shears? Um, I want to start here just in case I have to get back to my stuff. Uh, spawn is about 700 blocks that way. As far as I know, uh, everyone went the opposite direction of spawn. Um, they all went, I guess, if the sun's going that way, I guess that's west or new west. I guess that would be, that used to be south, or whatever it is. They went west, and I'm going east. Um, Parker's over there. I don't know where he's going to go. Uh, he might come this way too, but that's fine. We like Parker. We don't mind him being close to us. So let's start making our way down. I planted some cocoa beans before. Um, I had it in my inventory. I forgot how common they're going to be now in the jungle, so I don't actually need to keep them. So let's get going. Hopefully I slept quick enough that nothing has spawned in this jungle. And that's probably not right because I'm already hearing things. Uh, what I want to find is I would like to find some sheep. I would like to get a couple pieces of wool because it is going to get dark again. And I will need to uh, sleep. So that's first on the agenda. And then, like I said, I want to find a jungle, uh, temple, dungeon, whatever they're called. I believe there's at least one in every jungle. So I think the odds are pretty good that we're going to find it. Whoop. Um, and I actually really like jungles. Well, I have a love-hate relationship with jungles. Uh, they are really cool. I love actually going through them. I know Benchy personally hates running through jungles, but I actually find it kind of fun with all the vines. And um, in a different uh, SMP world that I was playing with a few friends of mine that wasn't recorded, I actually made my base in the jungle. And even though I thought that was going to be a great idea, it actually turned out to be a pretty bad idea. Reason being that jungles are not the flattest areas. Um, so it's very hard to build anything. I, I found a mountain that I built inside, but then when I ran out of space in there, I had nowhere else to go. So I won't be doing that this time. And like I said before, I don't know where I'm going to build. Ooh. Uh, no, we're not going to go there. Um, ooh, I hear a pig. Where are you, Mr. Pig? Uh, I think I have enough food right now. Oh, and I hear zombies. Where is the zombie? Well, there's the pig. Okay, whatever. Um, so I don't think I'm going to build in a jungle. I know I'm not going to build in a jungle. I don't know exactly where I want to build, but um, I'm hoping I can find a really cool biome um, and then decide from there what I'm going to build. Oh, is that? Nope, that's just generation. Is this a really small jungle? Um, I have a couple ideas based on different biomes, but I'm not really set in stone for anything. So I guess we'll just see what we find and hopefully we find something cool. Um, is this a really small jungle? That's not cool. I was really hoping to find a dungeon, a uh, jungle dungeon. Let's see. It looks like we're coming to the end of it because that is a plains biome. Uh, I think it's a plains biome. Plains biome is not that bad. You could actually still find villages in there, but if you're looking for villages, uh, a sand desert uh, village, a desert's probably your best bet because not only will you get sand villages, but you'll also get um, the new desert temples. So, uh, okay. So it really looks like it looks like this is about to end, doesn't it? And that means there's not any. 
dungeon in here, which is no fun. But that looks like it's desert on that side. I know we've seen desert on that side where we started, but that desert looked really, really short. I didn't feel like walking all the way over there and finding out that um, it's only a couple blocks deep, so I didn't want to go. But this looks like a full desert, and this is really what I was hoping to find. Well, it's either a desert or a really big beach, actually, now that I think about it. Because we actually originally thought this area... Uh, oh, oh! right away that's what i was looking for hopefully hopefully we have a blacksmith in there maybe we'll take a look at these guys see if they have anything cool to trade uh, i haven't played around with the trading system uh, i did a little bit in um uh the pre the snapshots but this is my first time actually playing the full release in survival so let's see what we can find in this village uh and i love the new blocks i love the sandstone stairs that was something that was needed for quite some time. Uh, okay, so we got a couple villages. We got the well. Uh, first thing I want to find... Hey, you guy. First thing I want to find is the blacksmith, which it does not look like they have a blacksmith. So that is... Oh, maybe there's more over here. But no blacksmith is a bust, a big bust, because it's the only place you get chests. Uh, yeah, no blacksmith. Damn, wheat's not even grown. Uh, let's see. Is there any point in trying to trade with these guys? Do I have anything they're going to want? Probably not. But what do I have? I don't even have bones for bone meal. I am going to steal some of this wheat. Make some bread. And I'm also going to replant it just in case somebody else comes by. Uh, like I said, Parker's not too far away. So I would not be too surprised if he came by uh, over here. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I'm so low on hunger. And there's the last of my pork chops. And seed, seed. Seed, seed, seed. And seed. I think that's all of it over here. Yes. Uh, let's go over there, grab some more wheat. More wheat. If anybody knows what I'm talking about. And seed, seed, seed. And wheat, seed. Okay. Let's get this done. Bear with me, guys, one more second. This wheat is going to come in handy, A, because I need food, B, because if we find a villager that has something cool to trade, uh, he might want wheat. So there's that. And I think this is the last wheat field. Seed, 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 seeds, and boom. One thing I am noticing that's not here, which is kind of expected because they actually spawn very uh, infrequently, but I don't see an iron golem in here. And I guess there's just not enough um, villages. So let's see. This is just a commoner. I don't think he trades anything good. Uh, oh, 24, 21 wheat for a emerald. But I already have five emeralds. I don't need that. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Anybody in here? No. Don't need bookshelves. Why? Well, I'll eventually need bookshelves. I just don't need that one right this second. Uh, no one in here. So did you hear that? Now, well, that's... That's kind of weird. Um, yeah. Hey, this is a professor? A librarian. I don't need bookshelf. Three. <laughs> Did you see this? Three emeralds for a bookshelf? Now, is that a bad deal or what? Some of these villages, you know, oh, more wheat, more wheat. But these villages really, really give bad deals. Um, it's very rare to get a good one. But you get the um, random villager that will, A, uh, give you emeralds for paper. Which I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers already make videos about making paper. Oh. Ah, see, you know, this kind of troubles me. So you see this villager just walked up onto this cactus. He jumped right on top of it and killed himself. Well, in the next version of 1. Point, I guess it's going to be 1.4 of Minecraft. Um, villages are going to like or dislike you. And one of the ways that they'll dislike you is if you just let them die. And... I don't mind not having to kill villages because it's a little inhumane to kill the villages, but I don't like the idea that if the villagers kill themselves and I just stand idly by, uh, they're going to dislike me. And that reminds me of the Seinfeld episode, uh, the last Seinfeld episode, is if anyone watches Seinfeld, nah, who doesn't watch Seinfeld, where um, they were going to, I don't know, they were taking some ride, they got a ride because their uh, show was picked up, so the NBC let them, or the studio let them use their plane to go anywhere. And they had to um, stop in Pennsylvania for whatever reason. And they seen a guy getting mugged. And they just watched a guy get mugged. And they wound up going to jail for that. So 
that sounds like what we're doing. We're getting penalized because of these villages are idiots, but I guess we'll have to worry about that when 1.24 comes out. This is still just 1.3, so we probably have some time to go. Okay, so I picked up 48 pieces of wheat. That's a good amount of wheat. I can make a, quite a few. Pro oh, and more is grown. Okay. Let me get the last of this wheat, and then we'll call this the end of getting wheat. And I'll make some bread, and then we will move on. It looks like this damn uh, desert ends, which is not really that cool, but what are you going to do? So we found a small desert and a f small jungle. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but whatever. Okay, so let's get in here. See a crafting bench. There it is. I know I had one on me, but so I don't have to put it down. Uh, and bang, bang. And yeah, something like that. And there, okay. And we're gonna throw that away, throw that away, I don't need that. So we have 17 bread, which is pretty good. Uh, it is getting night out, and I did not get any wool. Hmm. And I'm in a village, this is a very, very bad place for it to get night, because villages, as you know, or don't know, spawn a lot of zombies uh, to get zombie attacks. And that's actually something else that's going to be a 1.24, which is really cool. Zombies attacking and turning villagers into zombies. And the zombies look like villages, which is completely awesome. But let's see if I can make my way back up to my tree so I can sleep. I, oh, there's an ocelot. There's an ocelot. Okay, no. I got to hurry up. It's getting dark out. Um, not that well equipped. And I want to get up there before it's too late. Uh, do I see? I think it's one. Oh, there it is. Okay, we see it. We see it. So let's get over there, get some sleep, make it go daytime, and then I guess we'll go the other way. I know the jungle ended that way, but this way didn't really take us anywhere. So let's get over there and get some sleep. Oh, we already got creepers spawning. Let's just do. Oh, and skellies. Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think things uh, spawn on leaves, but I've heard people say that they do. So I guess we'll just play it safe and hurry up and get up there. I left it lit just in case I had to come back up there. Whoop. Oh, oh man, I hear the skeleton and he's shooting at me. He's shooting at me. Okay. Okay, I'm already up here. Almost up there. And here we go. Okay, so I'm going to jump back in bed and we will go the other way. Okay, daytime out. Uh, is that skeleton burning? Uh, there's quite a few skeletons over there burning. So I guess we just went that way, and we've seen that the desert ended to a, bla a plains. Um, let's go... You know what? I guess we'll go that way. Screw it. Um, yeah, so there's plains over there, so maybe we can find some sheep. Oh, and there's a skelly right there, so we need to hurry up and get past him. Uh, you know what? I should kill him. I need some... Arrows. Give me some arrows. Give me arrows. Ooh, two arrows. There you go. And some bones. Bones are nice. Uh, you know what? We're going to take on this skeleton, too. Again, I could definitely use the arrows. Whoa. Little lag right there. Oh. I hate fighting skeletons in water. Oh, perfect. And I don't know what I got. Did I get arrows? Oh, what? Whoa. I must have had a couple arrows on me because there's no way that guy just gave me nine arrows. This is not a fortune sword. Uh, okay, so let's keep it moving. That's a pretty nice structure. So like, oh, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. We have ourselves a bed and one. And come here, sheepy, sheepy. And we have enough for a bread. Okay, so let's make a quick bed. Just in case it gets dark out, we could whip it out real quick. That's what she said. Uh, and bed. Okay, throw that away. Try to get away from it. Pick that up. Nope. Don't want that. Want that. There we go. Okay. So this is a extreme hills over here. And for those that don't know, um, emeralds spawn uh, not commonly, but mostly in extreme hills. So if you're going to go looking for emeralds, this is the place where you want to do it. This is actually pretty cool generation. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. And I think this is too close to spawn. I try. I want to try to get away from people. Um, get my own area. And if we start building out spawn, we're gonna be start mining for resources. And I don't. Ooh, oh, I'm getting these guys. We're gonna start mining for resources. And I don't want a spawn f resource mine getting into my mine. So uh, pumpkin seeds. I want to keep. What don't I want? What don't I want? I want everything. 
Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Turn that into sticks. And I got the meat. Next time we stop, I will break down my, uh, take out my furnace, cook up this meat, and free up another spot. So let's keep going. Now it looks like, it kind of looks like this jungle does continue a little bit over here. Oh, look at all these cow. Wow. Yeah, I got beef. Definitely got all the beef I'm going to need. So next time we stop for sleep, we are going to be beef rich. Let's put the beef right there just so I can see how much I'm getting. Oh, come on. And I wanted to kill this sword off anyway. This is the perfect way to do it. Get some beef, kill the sword, open up another spot in my inventory. And that's the worst part about being a nomad is inventory management. So I cannot wait till I get some uh, blaze dust and make a ender chest. Because once you have an ender chest, you have like a second inventory. Uh, I have a feeling DJ on the server is probably already in the nether. And I wouldn't be surprised if he already had a ender chest. Um, if you watched um, episode 0, which I don't know if it was in part 1 or possibly part 2. If you would have watched it, you would have seen that DJ was really quick on getting iron. And getting a full set of armor. Pretty much before any of us even had tools. He had a full set of iron armor. Well, last I talked to him, he also had a full set of diamond armor. Um, an enchanting table. And a fortune 3, unbreaking 3, efficiency 3 pick. So he's already starting to gain resources. This isn't a race. Oh, wow, this is a lot of beef. Thank you, guys. Yum, I'm going to be eating nice tonight. Um, I could get some more cows now. There's no point. Uh, and I am hitting... Oh, more jungle. Okay, good, good. The jungle does continue. So hopefully... Oh, okay. If I'm here, I might as well get these guys. Now, I hope nobody starts building here and starts looking for cows because I'm killing them all. Uh, at least until I get a full stack of beef. And I'm almost there, actually. 53, and go, go, go. Uh, 56, not bad, not bad. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Ocelot. I don't want anything to do with you. So you don't need to be running away. Uh, he was a little stuck there. Let's get up somewhere. Okay, so there's more jungle here. There we go. This is what we like to see. This is a nice little... Whoop. It sounded like somebody jumped in behind me. Uh, this is a nice little pond over here, isn't it? It's very nice, very nice. Now, hmm, these seeds popped. That's kind of weird. But whatever, it wasn't me. Let's see, let's see. Come out. Oh, more seeds. Uh, this isn't a trick like in the episode zero. I didn't put those seeds there. I'm not... Setting you up for something that's just seeds that were popped out somehow. I don't know how. It wasn't for me. That's all I care about. Uh, it looks like this jungle is about to end. It looks like I wasn't lucky. And it looks like I'm going into a swamp, which kind of sucks. Swamps are probably my most hated uh, biomes. And it's funny, too, because uh, when he was working on it, it was probably one of the most anticipated biomes. Everyone was so happy about swamps, swamps, swamps. And now they just suck. Maybe if they put some mob-specific mobs in uh, here, in the swamps, that would be pretty cool. Um, like they did with the jungle, with the ocelots. I don't know what they would put in the swamps. Mosquitoes? I don't know. Um, but maybe something like that would become helpful. Uh, make it cooler. But right now, swamps are just more of a pain in the ass than anything. And go. And get him. Thank you. Take a stick, please. Uh, that's 59. Oh, I have enough to get a stack. Once I get a stack, I'll stop going after these guys. Well, I'm already at level 24. How crazy is that? No more having to wait hours in front of a grinder for experience. Um, I probably will build a grinder and probably multiple grinders. Uh, oh, and we have 64, so that was a waste. Uh, but now it's going to be minutes in front of the grinder instead of hours so that's gonna be really nice we're gonna have a lot of nice tools uh, maybe I'll build something nice I have a couple ideas like I said um, some type of house maybe I was thinking about building uh, I don't want to talk about it I, let's see what happens let's see what I find first and then if I find something uh, I can talk about what I'm gonna build and what I would have built if I found something else so I guess I'm gonna keep walking here I, I find this a good place to cut and uh, once I find anything interesting I will keep recording See you guys back in a minute. 
Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, it's getting night out. I didn't really find anything in this episode. It's probably getting a little long, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, while I was gone, I did find some pumpkins, so I got rid of those pumpkin seeds and traded them for a punk pumpkin. But I did find another desert. So next time, we'll be going into the desert, and we will be um, trying to find maybe another desert village. Maybe this time one with a, um, a blacksmith, so we can get some chests out of it. And we will also be looking for a, um, a desert temple, which would be pretty cool. Maybe a couple, then we get some really nice resources. So until next time, thanks for joining me, and see you later.